All right, so uh, what's up with Giuliani? You know, I mean, I used to have a bit of a modicum of respect for Giuliani when he was, you know, the mayor of the city of New York. Wasn't all that crazy about him for several reasons. One is that he allowed Al Sharpton to pull his chain, and he gave Al Sharpton, after Al Sharpton had been had come out of that drug event where it was snitched and it became CI7, Al Sharpton took to the streets against Giuliani and, you know, several police shootings and that kind of thing, and Giuliani gave him a lot of press. Uh, but the boy had done gone off the trail. I mean, he didn't, you know, a lot of people were asking, were saying that when people hang out with Trump, they lose their attention. Giuliani was a well-respected, he used to be the attorney general for the Southern District here of the federal government. You know, he used to be big time. He shook down the mafia, arrested John Gotti, and, you know, put mafia dons in jail, broke up Wall Street. I mean, he used to be a very respected individual, highly respected. And then at 9-11, you saw him walking away from World Trade Center with a mask on and with dust flying everywhere. And he's covered with dust and the sirens and the, the everybody. It was a day of, of wonder, man. And Giuliano was there and he, sat and he spoke to America and calmed America down. And they called him America's mayor, Giuliani. And now he's acting like a little old sissy. I mean... I've never seen anything like this of what Trump has turned Julian into a little girl. Now, these are some of my suspicions. I don't want to get thrown off of uh, Facebook for saying this, but I suspect he's a homosexual. I do. And, um, you, know, uh, you know, Michael Cohen said he drinks a lot, uh, but he has allowed tribulation Trump to turn him into a little old Little old poodle. He barking all, all over everywhere. He was down there on the 6th of January barking at everybody, barking. And they got him on tape now of calling up the assistant to the president uh, uh, of, of Ukraine, uh, trying to shake down the, to, the president of Ukraine and the, the, uh, the, to open a prosecution case against Hunter Biden, and it's all on tape. I I don't know. I I just I just don't know what happened. Because you know, he didn't have to do that, you know. He was working with a prestigious law firm. I don't know why. You know, someone says maybe someone says, Trump has got something on him. I don't. Know. I you know, but it, it doesn't make any sense. He is just, I, and he's gonna go to jail too. By the way. That no, Giuliani is going to jail. You can bet your, body, your seat anywhere you got one. Giuliani is going to jail. That boy has broken so many federal laws, it ain't even funny. And Trump ain't paid him no money either, by the way. Everybody knows that too. But he's going to end up in jail. Trump going to end up in jail. You might not like him. No, he gonna, Trump going to go to jail if you don't you know, commit hurry curry. No, the boy going, they all going, they, listen, Biden going to put them all in jail. You know, the stuff they have done is just unthinkable. I mean, it, nobody would, would think about committing all the crimes that Trump has done. I, Trump, Trump just, you know, just how he is. He, he's always been that way. It was that way before they should have, you know, before election president. Everybody knew that. But now that boy going to jail. And Giuliani going to jail. And uh, I'm going to sit here and watch it. I'm going to give you a blow-by-blow -blow report. All the indictments are going to start falling about August, September. So everybody get back from vacation September. The indictments are going to start falling. Cyrus Vance and Tish James up here in New York. And then they got them they got on charges down there in Georgia, too, of extortion, of trying to change the votes of the uh, of the election down there in Georgia. They'll put them on trial in Georgia for federal crimes as well. That's a mess. It's a mess if I ever seen one. Anyway, about I'm James Evan Manning. I'm the Lord servant. And hallelujah and boom shakalaka goes right there. This is a bit of a news blog we do looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram 
or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon, uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man of will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.